So I just, how are you? Hi, good Dave here. Um, how are you? Thanks so much for coming by. I got to relay this story. I just had the craziest, the craziest thing happen to me. So I, I got a bunch of comments. I, I just got back in the van, you guys, and I got to, I wanted to, I made a video out there. Um, I had a, a, a good handful, maybe 10 to 15 comments about the video I did about the floor in the woods, which I don't know what happened. It's got like 50,000 views, but people are like, dude, you never showed the floor. So I went back and watched the video. I never actually filmed the floor and it, I'm embarrassed about it. So this morning I said, I'm going out there. I got to, I want to at least film it so people can see it, what I'm talking about. So, you know, you don't think I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm a raving lunatic. So I get out there and I'm hiking out towards where I kind of remember where the trail is. I'm, I'm, I'm positive. I know where the trail is now. And, uh, hearing some strange howls from off in the distance to my right, which would be, uh, to my south, southwest, right? And really weird, strange, kind of a little bit of an odd feeling. And it's so cold. It's freezing cold here today. So there was at the time when I had gone in, there was, there was uh, one car here, a guy and his dog, and they were coming back as I was going in. And, so I got to that trail and I was hearing that oh, crazy howling. And, and, and listen, guys, I've never lied to you on any of my videos. I never embellish or make stuff up to make it more interesting. I want it to be interesting. I want it to have good content, but I don't make stuff up because once I do it one time, then every single video I've done before and after that lie or that embellishment is all crap. And I know that. And I know that. So I don't make stuff up. I, I was out there. I just had an experience that I haven't had in a long time and never this powerful. So I get out to the trail where I think it is. Now I got to get off that main trail and I am going into the woods further into the forest. And I, I'm coming around the corner. Now I'm filming this. You, you'll see this. I'm filming and... I see what it looks like, smoke, way, way through the trees. I'm like, oh, jeez. So I'm not, there's someone else out there. So I go, what, so what am I going to do? I'm going to turn around and just give up on it. I just hiked all the way the heck out there. I said, no, I'm going to continue. And if someone's there, I'll talk with them. I'll maybe get their story. And you never know, maybe a, a cool story will come out of it, right? So as I get closer, I'm not seeing anybody. And I, I keep approaching, little, it's kind of slow. I didn't want to seem afraid um, because if there's, you know, someone out there and they see maybe fear, they might think that they have the advantage. And I am not going to give off that. Uh, and the advantage is mine because I'm aware that someone's there. They may not have even seen me yet. So I have the upper hand and I'm not going to tuck tail and, and take off. So I get closer and closer and as I approach the top and the, and the floor, I see smoldering, a smoldering fire and like a bag hanging from a tree. Now I know I'm not by myself at this point. Now with the, this person or people are, I don't know. So I, I quickly decide I'm not going to stay. I don't see anybody. Whoever is out there is hiding or, or they just left. Maybe I just could have missed them. Right. I'm just saying a lot of stuff's running through my head. So I take some footage of the floor that I completely neglected to do um, on the video in the first place, which is the reason why I went out there. So I go, I kind of walk in a circle. I'm looking around. I go over to the fire. I check out the fire. It looks smoldering. There's no, no flames. But I know I'd either just miss somebody or somebody's right in that vicinity. So I turn. I go, I'm going to, I'm going to just let this uh, situation B right here. And I'm going to head out and I'm talking to the camera. I'm like, I'm going to go and I'm walking. Now I started to get, um, hearing kind of sounds around me a little bit. I'm like, okay. And the battery was dying on my camera. <clears throat> Pardon me, which I was aware of the, the battery was low anyways on my camera. So, and I knew I was just going to make a short film of that, of the actual concrete and stone floor. So I shut the camera off. I made my way out and I finally get back to that main trail that branches off to this place. 
And I'm hearing that, again, that, that howl, that very strange thing. I have no idea if I picked it up on audio. I haven't even watched the, 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 the video yet. I hope it comes through. So I, I stick it to myself. I want to get a little closer to it. I want it. So I walk towards in that direction, and I find another trail. And I start walking down, and it's leading me towards the water. Now I'm here, and I hear crack, crack on my left, another crack, and something like fell. Or it sounded like something fell. Now I'm in the, I'm in the woods. So stuff falls all the time, and I'm very aware. I suddenly got, I'm sick to my stomach. The hair on the back of my neck is standing up. I got the chills running completely through my whole entire body. I, I'm almost shaking. I said, I, so I hit record on my camera. And I'm walking, and I feel, I felt surrounded. I couldn't see anything, anybody. Every time I stopped, the noise would stop. Or, or it was when I moved, I could, I could hear something, something left to my right, and not directly behind me, but uh, like there was two uh, no sounds, some things or somebody's on my right, and one on my left. I uh, listen. I don't know who, what what it was. It could have been completely natural, but that deep, overwhelming feeling of fear and dread and nausea and uh, and a slight dizzy feeling. Never had that complete trifecta of feeling. I've been scared before. I've had the chills before. I've had the hair stand up on the back of my neck before. Never have I felt nauseous suddenly. And and it's gone. It went away as soon as I got out of the woods. Gone. I, I got back to my vehicle. I was shaking, uh, not violently, but I was nervous. I was nervous. Putting my key in my van, I could see my hands shaking slightly. Never have I ever experienced anything like that all at once. I really second guessed what I'm doing. What, why, why am I out there by myself? I don't know. And I know that this feeling will pass. I'm sure of it. But what an experience. The, I don't know what the howls were. I don't know why it seemed like I was surrounded by whatever. I don't know. And, and you can call me a pussycat for getting all nervous like that, but I never, listen, it's one thing when your mind plays tricks on you, but to have physical reactions from it and be really deeply frightened, deep, I, I felt like I wanted to run, and I know better than that, so I didn't, but man, did I come close to it. So listen, check it out, It's the video's only a couple minutes long, I, 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 so I want to show you guys the floor, but what an experience, I, I never had that happen to me before, Th that's a first. So I, I hope you guys enjoy it. Hey, what's going on YouTube? It's Hiker Dave. How are you? I don't know if that's coming out uh, in the out in the audio. Pardon me. Really crazy howling going on. I've never heard that out here before. been hearing it now for about 10 minutes off to my right here some really odd howling but uh, I want to go back to the floor in the woods you guys because I got a ton of comments saying Dave you never showed the floor so I went back and I looked at the video and in my excitement of finding it, I never actually showed the floor. And I hope that this is the trail. I think it is. Boy, that howling is really a scary thing. It is very cold here today, guys. It's uh, it's about 21 degrees, 
And then with the wind chill, it uh, feels like 11. Somebody here. Hello. Wow. I just missed somebody was here. Just missed him. I'm not going to spend a lot of time here, guys. I don't know what I walked into. but I wanted to show the floor. My head is on a swivel right now. But like I said, guys, it is just like a concrete and stone floor. And I am gonna make my way out of here right now because uh, definitely not alone here. still hear that howl. I, I am going to make my way out of here. Just because of, uh, I don't want to bug anybody if there is maybe the homeless guy living out here or something. That was pretty freaky. I didn't stay long there, did I, guys? Okay. I do appreciate you guys coming by. I had a bunch of comments saying, Dave, you never showed the floor, so I wanted to go back. And that was definitely the shortest, the shortest visit I've ever spent, I've ever done right there. I definitely am not alone out here. I mean, I can feel it. I think that there might be some other people out here. And I just want to leave them be. I don't want to put myself in a bad situation and have someone get hurt. Thank you so much guys for clicking and I'll see you on the next one.
never lie to you guys. Never. Because once I do that, even once, then everything I say thereafter is suspect. But I'm going to tell you right now, I am quickly making my way the heck out of this forest. I, I swear I feel surrounded. Every time I move, something happens to my right, to my left. Uh, just that feeling I had when I went to that that camp, or whatever that is in the middle of the woods. I feel like I'm being followed right now. I don't get bugged out like this, guys, once in a great while. This is one of those days. I am hearing cracking cracks over here. As I move along, to my left here, movement to my left. And I have a panic feeling right now, um, that really frightened panic feeling. trying my best, uh, you guys, to not run. <laughs> and I know that I'm going to get the comments, people calling me a pussycat. That's right, here's the main trail. I know it's coming, but I'll tell you right now, if you were out here with me alone, feel the same thing. I'm gonna get the heck out of here for today. That's too much, too much. Too much of that feeling like I have the tingles. The hair in the back of my neck is standing up. Like the chills, I have the chills. All right, you guys. Thank you so much for coming by. I do appreciate it. Very, very odd experience today. It's been a while since I felt that way. Thank you so much, guys. And I'll definitely see you guys on the next one.